so much for being here, Andrea. No problem. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Oh, uh, you know, same old, same old. You know, it's not like we could do that much. So yeah. I'm doing pretty good, just trying to enjoy life to the best of our ability. What have you been up to lately? Pretty much the same thing. You know, things have been pretty much an endless cycle, but you know, we do what we can. Yeah, so um, are you also a grad student? Mm -hmm. I currently study cybersecurity at the University of Tampa. Wow, what is cybersecurity? Is that like Big Brother's watching? As fun as that it sounds, not exactly. So pretty much, you know, with internet technology and all your personal devices, we're pretty much the backbone to make sure all of that is safe. So, you know, protecting against hackers and anything unethical that could happen with your technology. Well, that's pretty cool. Definitely over my head. <laughs> but, you know, with um, everything going on and um, school being closed, are you able to go on campus? Mm -hmm. So the thing about the University of Tampa, they really take, you know, following their CDC guidelines very seriously. So it's pretty much dual remote as well as in person. So we're kind of going back and forth and making sure that we can adequately social distance and that everyone's wearing a mask. So, you know, we're doing our best to try to stay safe in the midst of school reopening. Well, that's good to hear. That's definitely something you want to make sure you're staying safe with today's world. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I know grad is expensive. I know for myself it's very expensive. So what are you doing as an occupation while you're in grad school? So currently I'm a graduate student assistant and I work in the peer mentoring department. So what that is, so I pretty much help manage the peer mentors. They're all undergraduate students. That way they can, you know, kind of get things running smoothly, see what's best for the program to make sure that the peer mentors are doing their job and the mentees are getting, you know, that proper help that they need. Oh, that's awesome. So is it like being a guidance counselor or you help with the schedule? Yeah, it's a mix of that, not exactly. It's pretty much, you know, we're managing the entire program. So that can include not only helping, you know, the peer mentors with what we think would be the best, you know, effective way to help those students, but also, you know, managing payroll that these students are getting paid. Um, organizing meetings and things like that. And since, you know, with the COVID and the social distancing, we also do a lot of Zoom. So I'm in charge of, you know, running those Zoom meetings and making sure that everything's running smoothly. I was just about to ask that. If you have a kid that is on campus right now because some of them are not remote classes, what do you do if somebody walks in without a mask? Um, we have to send them away, but the school is really enforcing those masks. So even if you're just walking around, you're required to have a mask because you know the school is really trying to make sure that we don't get an increase of cases or things like that so the student safety is a top priority yeah that's definitely important student safety is very important all over the place now you're in a hot spot i mean this is florida mm -hmm. <laughs> we're on the news every day right now i'm embarrassed to be here too <laughs> so um what do you do when you go out how do you protect yourself so i'm always wearing a mask and luckily i know you know they seem to stay as a whole it's like oh my goodness it's so crazy but luckily i live in the area where everyone pretty much social distance everyone has on their mask and respects that you know what to do and i always have my sanitizer on me too that's very important so you always want to make sure your hands are clean and you know you're not touching your face and also i try to kind of distance myself from my older family members because being young i don't want to spread anything to them so, you know, just making sure that I'm staying away from people, I always have my mask on, and I'm always cleaning my hands. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for being responsible. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I wish there were more people that were responsible like that. And um, my last question would be, now that um, you're in grad and when you get out, what would be your dream job? So ideally, I really want to work with artificial intelligence. I know I'm throwing all this technology at you. Yeah, definitely big words. <laughs> CIA. Yeah. <laughs> But see, the cool thing about AI is it's always going to need security. You know, if you use your Siri, you don't want that to get hacked. You don't want any of these personal devices to get hacked. So the good thing is with cybersecurity, it can kind of tie into artificial intelligence and kind of being that backbone to make sure that everything we're using is safe. Because, you know, I want to make sure technology is easy for everyone, but I also want to make sure it's safe. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me today, Andrea. I mean, you've really definitely informed me on something I never knew about. <laughs> Um, thank you so much again, thank and you. I wish you the best of luck with grad and all your success. And I mean, hopefully I don't see you because then that means I did something wrong and you're trying to search me somewhere. Oh yeah, but <laughs> yeah, you should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much and I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. You too.